So whenever you dip for a split jerk, it's a very controlled motion. And what we're looking for is for the bar to not move an inch, to not move at all whenever you dip down. So if you dip down too fast, that'll cause the bar to separate from the shoulders and it'll start bouncing. Here, I'll show you with the bar so you can see it better. If you dip down too fast, the bar will bounce. And if the bar is bouncing with heavy weight, you're trying to drive it back up and it's still going like this on top of your body, it's forcing you down when you're trying to make it go back up. So you don't want to drop down too fast, but you also don't want to go at a turtle speed because you'll never get back up with heavy weight. So not fast, and not slow, but right in the middle, right in between. It's a controlled dip, so whenever you dip down, notice how the bar isn't moving at all whenever I dip. It's not sliding down my chest and it's not bouncing. It just stays right where it's at in one spot, okay? And another thing too, if you push your shoulders up into the bar and get some more protraction with your shoulders, create a bigger shelf. So look what I just did. The bar is not actually resting on my collarbone anymore. I pushed my shoulders up into the bar and created a shelf with my shoulders. Instead of just holding it like this, push your shoulders up into the bar. And this is pretty light for me right now. I'm pretty tight, so I can't actually get the bar in a good front rack position unless I have more weight. But when you push your shoulders up, your, the bar is resting across your shoulders instead of just being right there on top of the bone where it's uncomfortable, okay? So think about your dip. Don't let that bar move at all, okay?